All right, this is what I was attempting to recreate with a hot process recipe that I found on the soap making forum. This is the result. Not too pretty. As a matter of fact, maybe ugly. But it was the most complicated recipe I've tried yet. It required stearic acid, glycerin, castor oil palm oil which is there's some controversy about its ethical production and uh, this is how it turned out it's not clear like pears I was disappointed because when I first took it out of the mold it was tacky kind of sticky and but it's been three weeks I've had it under out sitting and in front of a fan and it's getting more and more firm less tacky so I I give myself a C and plus you know it may be ugly but it is well it has been invaluable for what I've learned from attempting to make it. I am wrecked though that I spent so much money on fragrance essential oils. I waited until the temperature of the cook was under 130 and in less than a day my entire recipe for the combination of essential oils was gone and that wasn't inexpensive stuff either so this is where I got in my soaping adventure we'll see I won't give up I don't know if I will make this recipe again it's quite expensive you had to have pine rosin as well uh, which sort of gives it that color, I guess. Well, the, no, actually, the palm oil gave it the color. But uh, I doubt that curing will cause it to get clear. <laughs> Too late for that. And, uh, well, we'll see. I'm going to go back to lard, coconut oil, and whatever to make a nice hard simple bar that'll hold my fragrance better anyway that's it from here you know talk to you all soon they're ugly but it's still a good soap that's all I've got to say on that